And on the mound for the Stanford Cardinal with his 11 and 3 record is Mike Messina, the junior right hander. And Mark Marquis, the Stanford coach, had these thoughts about his starter today. Our starting pitcher this afternoon is junior right hander Mike Messina. Mike has a 90 mile an hour fastball, good knuckle curve, and an outstanding change. The key to his success this afternoon will be to keep the fastball down in the strike zone. Messina is a really outstanding pitcher. He's gone. Um, he's got 11 and 3 record, 3.33 ERA, 14 starts. He has eight complete games. He has really an outstanding sinker. Well, you know, when I got here, I'm an 18-year-old, you know, high school kid that could throw the ball pretty hard. So I didn't really know a lot about pitching, and I just had to. You know, I learned a lot about uh, about just how to get better at at what I was doing, and 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 how to you know, how to manage game and how to, you know, use what I had that day to still be effective, even if it wasn't the best stuff I had. And, and uh, you know, and, and you learn stuff from the guys you're playing with too. And a any way you can get better at it, find a way to, find a way to, to, to improve yourself. Don't ever be satisfied with what you have. Um, always try to get better. And, uh, and you know, those, those three years with, with Coach Dunton and, and, and here at Stanford was, was at that age, was, was unbelievably important and, and, a, and a huge part of my development as a player. Well, obviously at 19, it was a pretty big deal for me. Um, and since then, I've done a lot, of, a lot of really cool things and been to the World Series a couple times and, and All-Star Games and all that. But, but you know, to, to go out there and do something with a group of guys um, that you don't know, you never knew before, you get thrust together to be a team and uh, to, uh, and for me, you know, all the way on the other side of the, uh, of the country, uh, it was just it was a great experience, and and uh, it's it's up there uh, in the top handful of things that I've been able to be involved in in baseball, and and uh, I was I'm really proud and honored and privileged to be able to say that I was a national champion for the school. I mean, as as a student, I don't think there's a better opportunity out there to experience and gain all the things you need to, to be involved in, to have success beyond college. The opportunities are here, the people are here. Whatever you're asking for, whatever you're looking for, you can find it here. I'm still proud to put on anything Stanford uh, to this day, and I haven't been here for 30 years, and I will still wear this stuff like I'm a student. I mean, nine, most of the stuff that I still talk about with kids that I get to work with, uh, high school or whatever, uh, a lot of this stuff is stuff that he that he showed and taught and and believed in. Um, it's just simply about the hustle on and off the field, or um, your approach to whatever it is you have to do that day, um, and just the commitment to the game. And, and uh, you know, I'm not expecting everybody out there to be as committed as as I was, or or as college baseball players are, or as or as nine has been. Um, but there's, there's so many parts of what he showed us all that I still, I still teach other people. Um, there's so many things that are still part of me that, that became part of who I was as a baseball player. And uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't probably be going to the Hall of Fame if it wasn't for Stanford University, the people I met, and the, and the coaching staff that, that was here with me. I would say this, knowing, even knowing what I know now, if I had to make the same decision again, I would still come to Stanford to school first. It's, it was, college sports is so, is so great because almost everybody involved, this is the last time they're going to play sports. There's, there's no opportunity beyond that. And so they're representing themselves and, and a school and a community and all these things. And it may be the last time they get to put a uniform on for real. And, so they're everything, they're all in for whatever it is. And so because of that, 30 years later, I'm sitting here and I can talk to guys that were on that team and we can, we can talk about then and we can talk about now and we can talk about in between. And, and it's just, it's, it's, it's great that you have that relationship with people that you, you may never see again, but, but still you were together and were able to accomplish this thing as a group and, and, and it's, it's, it's unbelievable.